Welcome back. We're going to practice more with our Swift certification app so we can make it so this time our app will have a launch screen so it has a little bit more information about this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my launch screen.storyboard. And my launch screen is not going to have any code attached to it, it's just a reference for my um, stuff that we're working with. So we'll add a quick image in here. So I'm going to go up here and type in image and choose an image view and drag that in. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with a label and drag that in. So I've got my image view and my label. I want to make sure that these look nice on the screen. So I'm going to grab that image view first. I'm going to control click from it over to the side. And I want to have my leading space to safe area set for that. And I'm going to click on that. And right now, by default, that constraint is where it happens to be set up for that. And so I look at my attributes on that. It's, my cons it's a constant of 85. I'm going to have that be, I want it to be 20 away on that edge and just hit enter. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this right edge. Boom, right there in my trailing space to safe area. And I click on that one. And so my constraint on my image view trailing area is this. It's also instead of be constant of 68, I'm going to have that be 20 right there. So it's now matched for that. I'm going to grab that same thing and I'm going to control drag from it up to the top. Boom, my top space to safe area again. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to control drag from here to the label. And it's my um, horizontal spacing. Oh, that will be my vertical spacing to that. Boom. And have that so it's going to be set from that. So this spacing right here, if I click on that single one right here, my label top to my image top, it's constantly going to be 193. I'm going to say that's going to be a constantly 75 instead. So I can just set that. So automatically with that. This one right here on my other constraint. So my safe area to my top. 265. I'm going to make that 200 as well. Make that a little bit prettier right there. So I've got that set. I want to have this right here. So my label, I'm going to control drag from it over to this um, edge. I want to have it centered horizontally in safe area right there. In fact, I'm going to have right click on that. I'm going to click on that um, one I just did for center horizontally in safe area. So center X, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to control click on my label, drag over to that. I want to have it be equal widths as that. So it's equally width of the thing. So I click my label width is equal to point the super real width. And multiply it by 0 0.067. No, 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 no. I don't want that multiplied by that. I want it to multiply by 1. So it automatically is the same width as that. So I've got that saved right there. I'm going to put that image view right here. I'm going to pick one of my images from my uh, thing. I'll put my pink zig right there. So it's automatically on that. And my label for my text instead of my label. And this is going to be Swift Certification Demo App. And on my lines, I'm going to change that to 0. So it's going to be right there. And I've got that right here. So right now it doesn't automatically fit. So I've got it highlighted. I'm going to do command, e uh, command equals to make it auto fit. Oh, and it doesn't align automatically. So I'm going to grab that back over here. So I'm going to click on that and that uh, lovely Swift certification label. So I've got that right here. That um, It's set to be equal to that. I'm just going to delete this one right there. And that Swift certification label right there, it's not fitting nicely. So I'm going to click on this again. So I'm going to drag on it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to drag it right here so it's got this nice little line. Oh, it's right there in that blue line right there. Boom. Okay. So I've got my safe area trailing on that. My pink is right there. I've got these lovely blue lines that talk about where it's going to be. That means it's generally in a better space for that. So I'm going to rerun that app right now. Relaunch it. I have my demo app and then it automatically switches to that new thing. So we've got it set so we can actually load a demo app. We also played with the constraints so we can see how we can make things happen by using constraints to have that happen and go from there. And my app still works by changing the labels as I click on the button to go from that. I hope this is a helpful quick review of how you can use constraints and how you can add a launch screen to your app and go from there. Cheers and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.